Hey, crypto family, I'm Jake from TradeLab.ai, and today we're going to be setting up the crypto family trading group template. We've set up a new template for y'all. We can find it in community strategies, and this one should be a lot easier to set up. So all we have to do is find the CFT logo here and we'll click yes. This will bring it over to the my strategy screen. We can see our crypto family template that we just copied. You might also see it like this. You can change your view from list to grid up here. If you want to change that and then you can click the edit button and we'll go ahead and set up the strategy. This template can be used with any strategy from Desalgo. So we'll click do it now to set up our strategy and we'll see the strategy setup list. So the first thing we want to do is set up our exchange. We'll go ahead and select that. If we haven't set up our exchange, we can do that on the left side at the settings button. Okay. We then want to select market mode, either contract or spot. And then we want to select our symbol. I'm going to do VTC USD. So next we have three options for you guys. The first one is reverse trade. Uh, reverse trade allows you to open a short when you're closing a long and open a long when you're closing a short only when the strategy says that it should be back to back. So it should, it won't do this all the time, but it will enable the special times when the strategy does want to go back to back. Um, you'll be able to do that with this checkbox. So if you want to check this, this will enable reverse or back to back trades. Okay. Then we'll have a uh, label. So label is what type of strategy that you're using. So maybe triple a, or I'm going to use the DSE strategy today. Uh, so you type that in and then you type in your time frame. Maybe you're doing six minutes. Maybe you're doing 30 minutes. You can type in 30, you can type in 30 M you can do a big M. It doesn't matter. You can type in whatever you need there and then press continue. Now it's going to ask us to set up our alert in trading view. So if we click on the alert here, it'll show us the instructions. So the first thing we'll need to set up our indicator in trading view. So let's go to trading view. So here I have a blank trading view and we want to add our DSE. So we'll go to indicators and I'll find the Des Algo DSE strategy. We need to make sure that we're using the strategy, not the indicator. So the strategy should say strategy and it should have this little icon next to it. Okay. If we click on that, that should give us the back tester. And it will also give us uh, our chart with the strategy on it. So now what we want to do is set up our strategy settings. So if we go in here, we'll scroll down and uh, we'll want to set up all of these settings however you want. But at the bottom, we want to make sure that our account balance and leverage are set up. And we also want to make sure that our um, take profits and stop losses are set up. So our offsets and our amounts. Uh, you can also make sure that you select your order type right here, and this will set everything up that you need for the trade. And this will all go over to trade lab. So you no longer have to set up anything in trade lab. You just come into the Des algo settings and you set everything up in here at the bottom of the settings. Okay. So once that's set up, you press okay. And then we want to create our alert. So, uh, if we press create alert. Over here, we'll go over to trade lab and it will give us what we need. So the instructions say, create a new trading view alert, select the crypto family strategy. So if we go over to condition right here, if we select the Des algo strategy right here, we can now, uh, select order fills only. We can see right here. It says if a drop down pops up, uh, choose order fills only. So we need to make sure that we select Des algo and order fills only. We also need to set up our expiration time. If you have uh, a premium trading view, you can do open-ended. If you don't have premium, you can only set this up for like a month out. So you will need to like set a timer on your phone to remind you to come in here and update this. If you don't update it and it expires, your alert will turn off and your bot will no longer run. Okay, so that's important. We also have the webhook URL. So go ahead and check that box. And we want to go ahead and put in our webhook URL. So we can copy this, just click on it to copy it. And then we can paste that in there. Okay. We can go back to trade lab and click on the name to copy it. And we'll paste the name into here as well. Okay. And once more, we'll go back and click on the message. This has everything that you need. You don't need to edit anything in here. 
You just need to delete everything in the message box and paste everything that we give you. And that's it. We go ahead and hit create. And now our alert is set up. We'll see it pop over here in trading view. And if I go back to trade lab, I can hit back and I can hit all done. So now that we've finished the strategy setup, I just want to point out a couple things. Uh, we don't need to change any of this. So you might see that your trade amount or your leverage don't quite match what you put in. You, uh, you might see all these rules and get confused. You don't need to mess with any of this. And if you see anything that looks wrong, uh, like your order type or something like that, uh, that should be okay. As soon as a trading view sends an alert, all of this will change to what it needs to be. Okay, so we're going to use these rules to listen to what TradingView sends and we'll automatically set everything up for you. Okay, so if this is wrong right now, don't, don't worry about that. We'll press save, we'll go back, and now we can see the crypto family template is set up. It's looking for entry, that means it's ready to go. All right, and that's how we set up the crypto family template. It's ready to go. Uh, once again, it might say limit long here, um, but that will change if it's supposed to be market, uh, just whenever a trading view alert sends. We do have a way to test this without waiting for trading view. I have another video that shows how to do that. I'll display that in the description. So that'll wrap up uh, how to set up the trading view template. So that'll wrap up how to set up the crypto family template. If you have any questions, you can always uh, drop me a line via the help button, create a support ticket right here, or you can join us on Discord. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for more updates. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.